Hey guys, here we are back on Westbridge. Um, I'm actually uh, testing some mods right now. So we'll just rent um, some equipment. Um, did a little bit of work on this trailer. So we'll go ahead and rent that. We have the water trailer. This one. Rent that. Um, then I also uh, put Susi tracks. Bring that over. Um, get our sprayer. Dry box. Reset all of our equipment. Should all be here. All right. So first up on the cutting board here is our John Deere. I'm kind of waiting on 17 to come out to see how they design their um, wheels because you have the ability to add different configurations of wheels in the shop. So it's kind of like viable wheels, but maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm not sure if you can like change wheel configurations after you buy it. Anyways, this is our uh, Susi track. It is a ST760 version of the SUSI. And they're pretty simple. There's just a big sprocket of frame with some wheels, some uh, 16 inch tracks. Um, really not a whole lot to it. But um, definitely has benefits if you're using the drive control mod and stuff like that. With the uh, like real terrain mod and stuff like that, tracks just handle better in rougher terrain. So we have hooked up. We'll raise up our inducer tank here. We have to reset our. Might as well drive over here and fill that guy up while that's waiting. Test out our new Mac frameless half round uh, 40 foot and dump. The Schmizer. Um, this is uh, another ATS model. Um, just gave it a new texture uh, and scripted and in gamed it. And um, it's kind of interesting uh, because the model in ATS always has um, the cover on and it has no f real function for the rear end. Had to do a little modification, some hole punching. Um, so this has the uh, tarps and stuff like that. As the mud flaps also move, um, go ahead and load it up with some grain. As the working fill planes. So 
looks like that's full. Um, the big, the, uh, this just uses the in-game default, uh, fill animation, so it's not, it won't be curved, it's kind of that flat, like, because it's from that, uh, in-game trailer. But it lifts and unfolds and the gate opens up. It's all one component, so it's pretty easy. Well, actually, look. grab a front end loader and I'll show you the other animation it has. We go over to wheel loader, rent that, rent that. Reset that, reset that. So, it has two different uh, tip animations, and it's based on what kind of trigger it's next to for the trigger reference. So, that guy's pretty much full. This guy's. I don't really have enough grain around here to do anything with, but it's okay. So, this, in order to use the door, the chute, you have to go to a smaller trigger. You know, I'm sure it would work fine on like an auger or something like that. But you can see how the thing, uh, the dump indicator is on and so then if you were to watch the door on their left opens up and it pours out so pretty cool little obviously it's filled that shovel before I can finish dumping but <coughs> if you're next to a trigger that's pretty small like this one um, it works don't really have a whole lot of control over it otherwise it's based on trigger references, so if it's like trigger width is 2.5, it'll go to the big one. If it's under 1, it'll use the small one. And then obviously you can dump your grain back in. And then um, I have it the... Uh, jacks so that actually is all animated and folds back down so I think that's pretty cool then we have our trim car food grade commodity tanker this you can haul uh, water can also haul milk. All you have to do is buy some placeable scripts and then obviously you need cows for milk production and stuff like that but if you have this white one you can just drive over They'll say refill tram car, but we don't have any milk, obviously. Then you would put this over by your milk cell, and it would be like sell milk if you had milk inside of it. Anyways, really like this trailer. This is another trailer from um, ATS. Uh, another new one for the arsenal would be good for dairy operation. And we can come back over to our R40. Forty forty-five. Do a little showcase of the tracks. I think I think the tracks look really cool actually. This looks like a complete beast mode. Like 
you would not get stuck anywhere with this thing. Reminds me of uh, like a snow snow crawler at this point, like you would use for. Uh, Ice, those big ice fishing transporter. Nice, rich John Deere green color. Anyways, that's just kind of a short video of what I've been busy with, so uh, thanks for watching.